One second. Record, okay. <laughs> hey, everybody! <laughs> Fuel run time, let's go! Woo! How long will I last? Okay, I'm letting what, the game speed? drive. I'm letting the game drive for a second because I need to adjust my camera for this car. Okay, what? Let's do like this. Yeah, let's do this speed. What are you like doing? Like 100 V12? miles. V8, you idiot. Oh. Oh, it was a Mercedes. Let's just do like, so I just assumed let's just do like a hundred. Let, let's just do around a hundred and a hundred miles an hour. Can you like? There we go. I'm trying to get behind you. Watch the save gas. No. I'm getting over. We're we're still cruising, right? Do you even know we're doing yeah. like gas runs? Driving like I normally would. <laughs> Wide open throttle. <laughs> I'm not doing any more than like get next to me. Let's just do like a side by side fuel economy run. 100 miles an hour, by the way. Well, I gotta catch you. No, I can't read my speedometer that well. Yeah. I just have my racing display because my fuel gauge is like invisible. I'm fairly certain that gauge, that small, small gauge in my gauge cluster, that's fuel. Oh yeah, that's fuel. That's my fuel gauge, definitely. Oh, for crying! Wait. Please don't tell me that's how actually it's measuring the gas. What? Uh. What? Are you kidding me? What? Is it just bars that drop every time my gas is... It, what, in your car? No, never mind. Kind of there on my right. This might be a bit wasteful, but why not? Let's go for the beans. Are you flying it? Oh no. No, I'm very light on the throttle and my highest gear. Yeah. Which I think oh, is we're like doing... five or six. Yeah. Oh, we're doing that fuel economy run. Ah, I was just I was in the oh, gears for whatever. <clears throat> and then full throttle out of the tunnel. Getting over. Getting over. I'm at just over quarter tank. No, I can't really do that, can I? I'm gonna see if I can get the car sideways, but nope. Getting over. Beep. I mean, I'm just driving really fast with the throttle, like, on the, like, mm -hmm. just a bit through. What I think we should do is set it to, like, some number, then jump on the Nurburgring, and see how far we can make it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, that actually would be a good idea. Now we have pick cars Whoa. from the same class or upgrade cars to the same class. Yes. And then we just go for a nice cruise. 
Or we can do a hot lap, because hot lapping really is what Nurburgring's for. And you never really see people do crazy well, laps. Well, if we do, do like... <coughs> depending on the car, you might get like a certain distance. You're also going to turn up the uh, fuel speed. You know, the fuel us usage speed. For it, too. And your goal is to try and make it an entire lap on one tank of gas. But you're not, are you not allowed to use a fuel leaning system or no? No. Yeah, because that would kind of be, be cheating. It realistic. <laughs> you want to do that? Sure, but let's, let's see. Let's, I'm at half tank right now. I am at half a tank too. Oh, this is close. I'm get. I'm pulling off. I Why? What? Well, aren't we going to another game? Okay. I want to finish this first. Okay. I mean, what? We're half tank. We, sure. I'm on my, we're, I'm on my third lap. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, N100 cars, because they're, like, you know, so little and everything, they don't use up but as those, much fuel. Yeah, but we gotta use, like, proper cars. N500 yeah. or above. That's where we're gonna set yes. the bar. And then if we go to like N1000, that's just <clears throat> going crazy. Like, you're gonna be out of fuel almost immediately. And then if you can make it on the lap, like, right now, because the <clears throat> fuel usage multiplier is on 10, right? I would say put it to like 15 or 20 for the Nurburgring, right? Yeah. And then your job, your goal, is to try and hyper mile as best as you can. Try your best to get, you know, as many laps as you can. Or the the main objective is to get one whole lap in. And if you can do that, go more than a lap. Where do you make it afterwards? You know. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I know there's a bunch of nice hills on Nurburgring, and use this to your advantage. Right. Yeah. Use them to gain speed for the next sections. Rather than flooring it down the hill, just roll. Don't use any speed going back up. Don't use any, you know, gas going back up. Oh, Lord. I'm out. You're out. You're out. That means I should probably start uh, cruising. Currently just rolling right now. Well, apparently I'm still moving with. Uh, how is my engine at idle? I have no gas. 
Because you're going above speed, it does not let you use any of your uh, engine. I'm out, I guess. How the hell did I drive better than you and still have, like... Well, it also depends on fuel tank size, too. That, that That's right. Okay, I'll be totally honest. I was kind of rev-banging it a little bit. <laughs> how much how much fuel do you have? Probably, I would imagine not that much. I am near empty. Jesus Christ. Once Very near empty. We're seeing how far I can make it. Dude, I'm gonna complete this lap. I'm doing it. Alright, sorry. Well, I made it back to pits. Not, oh, yeah. However, I drove differently on my way back to pits. Alright, I'm taking the track to Nurburgring. Should we do the Set full one or should we do the. 24 hour. Good idea. And set the fuel consumption to something like 15 or 20. Oh, yeah. I'll do 20 just to make that challenge a bit harder. Because that's the entire point of it, it's supposed to be challenging. <clears throat> but I'm 500 or more, or more, right? Yeah, but let's try and get into the same class. No, we don't have to. That's, Take, that's like, the, whatever the... That's, that's what I'm thinking, no, is we get into the same class that we have kind of like a baseline. No, pick whatever the hell you want. I really honestly could give a sh could give sh 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 <laughs> Alright, so this is about... What are you no getting into? Class, right? No electric. No electric, no. No electric. What are you getting into? I'm looking. Because I'm gonna get into the same class as you. That's, that's my plan, at least. No, then, like, I'm literally picking whatever the hell I want. You pick whatever the hell you want. Ooh, I actually have a very good idea. Okay, I'm in 500. Well, oh, actually, no, I don't want this. I changed my mind about this car. Hold up, I got it. The only Whew. thing that drove me away was it's a man, it's a, it's an auto, right? Yeah. You don't exactly want that. Yes. You know what? Let's uh, let's go Japanese. Cause why not? God damn it! That's my plan. <laughs> So this might not be the most reliable choice, but it probably... Oh, well, that's N3. I'm being actually dumb. Never mind. What am I thinking? I'm actually dumb. Yeah. And you're not. What? You How, what N5. do you mean dumb? You said N500 or max, right? Yeah. I'm in an N500 if that's what you want to get into. It's 
<laughs> Alright, the fuel consumption mileage begins. See, that thing's an auto, though. I oh, know. I also have a very, very clear reading of my fuel gauge. Me too. Phil, I gotta stop to turn the fuel thing on. Or my uh, display. Well, that thing is already going down fast. Okay, then we're gonna roll. I'm in my max here. These hills are gonna be interesting because this downhill goes straight into a corner. My genius is almost frightening. I tapped I tapped the handbrake and I'm just coasting down the hill. Yeah, because basically doing that puts it into neutral. Yes. That's what that's what I do is I just tap the handbrake real fast. Oh no, but this is a hill. God, this is hard. So my feel it barely is even going down. I am about at an eighth of a tank, I would say. Probably. Almost out. Sorry, seven eighths. My oh, math is incorrect there. No, I'm very close to full. Oh. I'm above three quarters. Yep, yeah, same. Well, you need to go to the eye doctor, too. Yeah. Maybe I'm actually far away. What the hell? Are you at the S's, or are you almost yeah. on the north slide? I'm just giving incorrect numbers, that's all. What? Shot. Is in your face. Okay, I'm, I'm, roll, I'm rolling down this back there. section. You're there? What the hell? Yeah, I got off the uh, GP. I'm on the north left I'm, now. I'm not even off it. I'm like on those like S's curb things. Oh. I don't know what the hell you're calling S curves. Like the, the chicane bit. Oh, okay. I should try and drive a bit quicker now, but okay, here. Handbrake. Just coast. Yeah, just coast That's down the hill. That's what I'm doing. No, because I just got on the north life a bit. I did go up up the hill. Oh, I'm in a Toyota Crown, and that's a reliable car. But it's a V6 from a Toyota Highlander. Yeah, but the question is, 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 is it's an auto, yeah, I think about that. What do you mean? Never mind, just don't look and don't, don't read into it. What I'm do you mean? Ro I'm, rolling, I'm rolling down the hill now. Into, oh, into okay, Flying okay. Death Corner, that's what I call it. It's called, I know, it's called Flugplatz. I call it Flying Death Corner. Because okay. you fly enough. off of this, you are dead. Okay, I'm at three quarters tank, for pretty like... much. Oh, I'm not even close. Like, I'm, like, I'm still, like, almost full. Mm. How, I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm amazed that Skyline is just doing just as good as a Toyota Crown. Keeping the revs at like a thousand <coughs> two hundred. That is very low. Well, what are your revs at? Like 5, I, 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 I keep mine around three thousand. 
where you see I'm hypermiling there. Mm -hmm. See, I'm almost at three quarters of the tank. Okay, I'm going down the second big hill into the very close uh, uh, circles. Going Sorry. up speed, 140 kilometers per hour. Then you're going to roll right back up the hill and lose all that speed. <coughs> and then hit the brakes a little bit because i got to slow down for this. Right, we're going down the second hill. Oh, so you're not that far behind. I caught up a bit. Um. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm basically I I I passed 140. Uh, I, I got up to 140 going down that hill. I did almost probably like 145. I'm still not, I'm not even, I haven't touched the soil yet. No brakes through the weird circly corners. I had to hit my brakes, I was going too fast. I was doing 80 kilometers per hour through those steps. Well, I had to slow, I had to slow down to get to 80. I'm not even joking, I've been coasting for the past like 3 minutes. Like no throttle at all. Oh, I've, I've been giving it a little bit of throttle input, just you know, keep up my speed. But now I'm definitely rolling down this back bit. Would you like to know the funny thing? I'm still not even at three quarters of a tank yet. Hmm. I'm. I am still at three quarters of a tank. So. I'm. Just, I've literally been coasting this past like while. Mm-hmm. I hit the bricks. This corner is deadly. Or should we make it a bit more interesting? No coasting. No. Because your your end goal is to get as far as you can on a single tank of fuel. Yeah, and then we'll compare notes afterwards. Mm-hmm. I'm going down this weird little hill thing. The only issue Ooh, I have with yeah. coasting is eventually you are going to run out of that speed and it's just going to be going so slow. Yeah, and then you have to eventually hit the engine. Like, I'm basically right now... At a, a constant so uphill. So I've basically gotten to the point of full uphill. Well, because, right? Because and there really isn't a downhill for a decent bit. You'll know what I'm talking about. It's after that really nice long downhill section. I don't believe you heard a word I said. What'd you say? Well, basically at the part where it's an uphill for a long distance. Oh, yeah. In the engine You're forward. definitely going to have to put throttle into that area. Oh, God, I have to turn my high beams off because that saves fuel. No, that doesn't really do much for fuel. What speed are you going at? I am going somewhere between 100 and 120. I don't even had 100. But I gotta be going higher speed for me to keep it, you know, low RPMs and highest gear. Well, I have 8 gears. I'm only, I only just hit 2,000. I'm at 120 kph. I'm, a, I'm in my highest gear, but I'm kind of, you know, even at low throttle input. Mine's incredibly low. Like I... 
just reached a quarter. Okay, three, I am in between three quarters and a half tank. Okay, I made it to the carousel. Oh, I'm almost there. You have a new baby? No. Your aunt has a new baby? I don't know. She's a turret at corner fast. And I don't even know what she's talking about, so. Okay, I made it to some of those nice downhills again. We're on the carousel. Okay, I'm actually picking up. I'm doing 130. <laughs> I'm currently rolling down a hill doing no more than 100. Okay, I'm almost at the hill part, so I can start coasting again. Alright, and coast. Okay, we're just about 100. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I just went above a hundred. I'm above a hundred as well, but I'm coasting, so. <clears throat> I'm trying to be real gentle with my steering input, but it's not as easy on a controller. What do you mean steering? Steering doesn't have anything to do with throttle or fuel. It's about speed. I'm trying to keep hold my speed off of the downhills into the uphills, right? Oh yeah. Oh my god, we're almost seeing 120 in this thing. Jesus Christ. That's why I'm talking about steering. Because I'm trying to hold that speed. So I don't have to use the throttle as much. But it's not so easy when it goes left, right, left, right. Sharp, right. Right again. You know what I mean? Drive a bit quicker and then post. It's probably the slowest lap in the Nurburgring history. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure we did that another day. I just know. I think the slowest record like was 45 minutes, but it was on. It was with a Mini Cooper that was on two wheels the basically the whole time. Oh. All right, downhill. Come on. What am I listening to? Oh. Making beautiful mistakes. Na, na, na. Na, na, na. <coughs> beautiful. So, are you on the straightaway now, or no? Oh look, it's you! Surprise, surprise! I'm just kind of coasting. And then here's the quote-unquote second carousel. You definitely got like more speed than me at some point. Yeah, I was I was like tapping the throttle to tank that. That was bad. Oh my god, the way that lighting just changed. A little bit of speed. Doing one forty. grass. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's grass.
Oh, thank you for the speed boost. It's slipstream. But no, you are actually pushing me. Not anymore. I started coasting a long time ago. I didn't. Where, where, where are you on fuel? Half a tank. I'm just over half a tank. Like, before I hit half a tank. <clears throat> I'm fairly certain I'd be able to get two laps out of this thing. Are we just going to keep going until you run out? Well, I guess we figured out that this is actually a boring thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> let's find a new activity. Let's, here, let's restart, reset your fuel, and let's just go, like, hammer. Go crazy fast. So kind just of get, track get it. Get back into the skyline. Get back into the skyline. We're going to do a track. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to set it up for track. So what we did, so what we uh, established is that a Toyota Crown is more economical than a Nissan Skyline. Who would have ever guessed? Oh, well, it depends on, on how you drive, too. Yeah. I think we both get in the same car, set it up exactly the same, then we determine how it drives after that, right? Like, yeah. who who can be more economical? So do you want to do a Skyline? I'm in a Crown. Or do you want me to get in a Crown? Get in a Crown. Okay. When when you when you get in the pets, I'll just would we'll just start like going crazy. Hold on, I gotta <coughs> find my upgraded crown. Is it the pink one? No, that I actually swapped it out a long time ago. Oh. Well, actually, no, I didn't swap it out. Long. The pink one's no longer pink as of a couple days ago. Oh. Okay. This one's partially upgraded, so we're just gonna roll with it. Partially, no. Make it 493 horsepower. I'm trying to find which crown. Do you not I have bet, one I just bet just yeah, it's my red one. I. Nope. Trying just to find one. Tune it to 493 horsepower and make it as light as possible. But racing. I know I have a crown that's like full. That's maxed. Or at least I thought I did. So what you need is 492 horsepower, as low, light as possible, racing super softs. As light as possible. Need, yes. As light as possible makes it more economical. Racing so super 3,080 pounds. Yes, and that's it. I didn't change anything. And stop gearbox. Nothing else gets touched. Okay. Eight speed gearbox to make sure. Mm hmm. The auto. The standard auto in it. Yeah. Alright, fuel consumption racing starts now. And ra make it like race like you're actually like like make it rev limiter and whatever. Mm
I just hit half a tank. Really? Where's the fuel gauge in this car? It's under the ta the rev things. The tachometer. Yes. That's fuel gauge. Yeah. Are you sure about that? Cause my fuel gauge is be behind or uh, sorry below my speedometer. And my fuel gauge is below my. No, my fuel gauge is below my whatever. Your speedometer. No, my tachometer. Oh, sorry, my, yeah, my speedometer. Sorry, my speedometer, yes. That's what I meant the whole time. Sorry, yes, it's under my speedometer. I just hit half a tank. How? Are you actually driving even up? Are you racing like a crazy person? Dude! <laughs> I do not have... Listen, when I race, because I'm racing on the controller, I don't go full throttle into every single corner like you do, because, you know... Yeah, I, I, I'm on different. the controller, by the way. I expected you to be using your wheel. However, I'm not used to um, tracking a crown like this, so... Or even tracking a crown on this track. So it's like hitting the brake early, not being on the throttle as much. Oopsie. And once you run out of fuel, coast to a stop. I am out. But you're out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Already. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I'm not. Where are, you, where are you gonna stop? How? Wait, how much fuel do you have? About a quarter tank. What? Dude, I was like half on the throttle through those curves. Pussy. So I ran into the field just before the, uh, what's your call it? The flying death corner. <laughs> death corner. And are you, I would presume you're almost out, aren't you? Well, I'm hitting the brakes now, going around the corner. No, I'm is not out. Big, is it the big fast corner? Okay, here comes the nice, real cool hill. Better floor it down there, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm gonna lightly get on the brakes going up the hill. Almost out, come on. How are you still going? Because I am. Uh, and I just ran out, slamming on the brakes so I can come to a stop. So, hold on, let me look at my map. Jeez. Huh? How'd you make it all the way there? Once again, I wasn't on the throttle as often as you were. Look where I am. Hold on, let me turn on my map then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm turning my map back up. Let's, let's get in, like, La Ferraris this time and just see the difference. Okay. That just. <laughs> oh god. I gotta put this Is back that... onto my standard tune. Yes. And now we lie away making beautiful mistakes. Okay, what are we setting the La Ferraris to? Max. 1,036 horsepower, 3, 2,379 pounds, racing super softs, and transmission set to 500, like, you're basically max. Oh, why aren't we just using st stock transmission? Because no. So, the fully customized and then top speed auto set all the way to the max. Yes. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Alright, go, go, go. I don't see a fuel gauge, so I'm just gonna know when I'm out of fuel. This thing drives so bad. I'm expecting this to be significantly worse than the, uh, what you call it? The crown? Yeah. Way worse. Mm-hmm. 
I'm looking for that fuel gauge somewhere. It's on the bottom left. Pretty yes, sure. I was doing exactly what you did. Dude, I get on the throttle and this thing's like, bye bye! Does not want to steer whatsoever. I think trying to hide from my these would be fun. <laughs> yeah, we probably would we'd probably just make it a lot. Oh god, dude, it'd be a freaking challenge to do that. <gasps> this thing basically wants to do a wheelie every time I hit the throttle. Out. Yes. <laughs> Woo! I'm out of gas already. So it actually does make a difference. If you drive like a maniac. Mm -hmm. In a Toyota Crown, you'll make it significantly further than a uh, LaFerrari. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Not me. Dude, I'm barely on the throttle in these corners because it just I'm more than likely gonna die if I get on the throttle. Flying death corner. You're there? Oh my god. Yeah, and, and I'm about to fly off the wrong flying death corner, but you know. How much fuel do you have? Like very little. <laughs> Hit the brakes, hit the brakes, hit the brakes. Whew. <laughs> Are you out? Not yet. Are you like really close? Yes. Hit the brakes. And then floor it down the hill. Oh, I'm out. Very hard. Let's see the difference in time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. That's the difference. Mm -hmm, that is one bit of a difference. Now, what if there. you tried V8 Tundras? Hmm. No, we, we should try with a like... twist. With a twist. Yes, what's the twist? Max power, max weight. Oh boy. Alright, yeah, do that. And I'm using stock transmission and the racing tires. Well, yeah. I'm waiting for you. Just uh, setting it up real fast. And then stock tranny. Boom. Come on, Tundra! Let's go! Woo! But so you gonna die there or something? Where's the fuel gauge? Um, I'm bottom right, I... bottom right of the center gauges. Oh, it's going down really fast. If I'm correct, I'd have to get up real close to the TV to actually look at it. Yes, I can see. Is that it? Yeah, that it is. Yeah, Bro, that's I'm fuel gauge. At, bottom I'm right, at half tank. Look at our LaFerrari racing lines. <laughs> I'm already at half a tank. In the LaFerrari, I'm like... Not half a tank. Remember that we're also full weight too, right? Yeah, and the heavier car the worst We're significantly mile. heavier.
found skipping this song. Hey, do you want to break a guitar? Are you going to break a guitar? <laughs> no. Just commenting on the song that's playing. Which is the song from Gran Turismo. Break a guitar. Yeah. Break a guitar. I'll make it a real big star. How do you know the lyrics? Well, one, I'm listening to it, too. Because I've listened to it a thousand different times in this game. But now it's playing on Spotify. Wow. Well, definitely made it past your law, Ferrari. <laughs> I go just. like, yeah, definitely. I go like, yeah, just made it past your law, Ferrari. And then it's like, death. I feel like this thing's gonna roll over on me. Why are the turn signals in the thing yellow? Like in the the hazards? In the, Not the front? Outside. Yeah, in the in the in the thing. The headlight. Well, that's probably just the color that was put in. It's it's close enough to amber, right? It should be fine. Oh, I just ran out. Made in the. Oh. Yeah, I was, um, a bit, I was on the throttle a bit more in those curves because, you know, this thing is a little look, slower. Look at, her, look at the gap now. It's not big. Got a little bit better at driving the Nurburgring. Yeah. Yes. I mean, the first section because, like, I'm rooting that way and that to be a little bit. Making beautiful. Okay, before I'm done with this, I gotta put it back to uh, that area. What area? Mm hmm? What area? I didn't. Did I say area? Yes. I was just putting my tune back to stock on this. Well, not stock, but to heavy. Oh, like shit. the way I have it set up for cruising. Oh, we've been playing for almost two hours today. That's good. Yeah? 